everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode I'd like to start, I was going to do the kitchen, but I'm going to, I would like to start with doing the Ocean Monument because it's coming towards summer and you can only do Ocean Monuments in the summer, it's too cold to do it any other time of the year. So let's have a look, first of all the bees, I've moved these two around a bit so we can see the generations and also I actually made I think, a slight mistake. The, the box behind me is actually a bee house, not an apiary, so I think that might not work with crossbreeding. So let's have a look and see how we're getting on with that, because I moved the thing around to put the two chests together. Maybe I need a bigger chest yet, I don't know. So let's have a look at that first thing. Probably would be my last time. Oh, of course, there's nothing in there, because I moved them into here. So we've got these two unknown bees. And let's have a look at that one. So that's the forest meadows, and this is a forest forest. So we'll put the forest forest back in here like that. And these two are what? Forest meadows again. Forest, forest, forest meadows. So I'll take one of these forests and try that again. I've got a feeling these will actually crossbreed. And on this side, we've got two bees. Oh, probably the same thing again. So we'll look. So it's the forest meadows um, princess and a meadows forest drone i'll tell you all put those two back in the same place it's not going to do any harm so this is an apiary and this is a the bee house and i've got a feeling bee houses don't crossbreed but so let's get on with our episode today the first thing i'd like to do is to move the nether portal that i've got and make sure that's somewhere near to where we actually want to do the beast uh, the ocean monument and we also need to collect some stuff up so the first thing I'm going to do is make some more packing tape. I think I need to make some more packing tape. I was also doing some mining when I was between episodes. That's why it becomes summertime. So, um, what's that one? Pete. Oh, Pete has geolysis now, does it? That's new. Don't remember that before. Um, but there's no recipe for it. Okay. Anyway, so let's get on with... Um, what did I want to make? <laughs> Whoops, I've forgotten altogether. Oh yes, packing tape. We've got the two. I'm going to make some spare sets. We need three pieces of paper for that one and a piece of... Okay, so slime balls, as I said, got no shortage of slime balls. But we probably need to make some more. Get some of this stuff going up a bit more. Oh, actually, I've got some paper in here, haven't I? Yeah, I've got plenty. I won't use that then. Slime balls put 62 in there so we should be okay I think one will need a stick doesn't it so let's make those things so let's make one of these and I don't think we're going to need too many of these like that but we will need some more paper so I'm going to make some more paper we won't need very much paper probably about nine will do I guess that's all that we're going to need isn't it I think I'm just going to move some chests around, that's basically it. So I don't need this one anymore, we can put that away. And this one... Let's go... Oh. Yeah, let's take that with it. I probably need something to drink as well, and, f and some food. Ah, oh, yes. Now I'm hungry. Good. And we can show you, I can show you what I wanted to do last time as well, so let's just put those into here. I've got four in there now. Oiled... Oiled... Um, vegetable apples I was doing wasn't I? Let's get some apples out of it. I think I've got plenty in it too. <laughs> um, let's try it with grapes and I think we could do an oiled grape. Let's have a look at the uses of that one. I wonder if there's a recipe for crafting that with some... It is actually a dyed the grape as well which is quite neat. Can we craft this with a some olive oil? That's the question. <laughs> Probably. Maybe not in fact. Oh yes, we can. Good. So we get an oiled, an olive oiled grape. <laughs> I think that's great. Right, olive oil. I've got some here, so we need four of those. Let's get four of those out, and a bottle. Plenty of bottles in there, as you can see. Oh, I've got three, so I don't need. Put one of those back. Stand on these. Four jumps will be enough, and then we just need one of these. And we can eat, take that one away. So now we can make the oiled grape. Like this. And it says here the fruit is still 
one and a half. In fact, I've got to wait till I get a bit hungrier between we actually do that one, because you won't see the difference. So forget about that for the time being. I did probably need some water. I guess I've got none in there. In the backpack, I've got two and five which are not cooked. Let's just go and cook these five and take another couple and put them in the backpack. Always need to do that. Oh yes, it's processing some. I'm not sure it's processing actually. To answer, yeah, I thought it finished it. Anyway, let's cook these. Let's cook these bottles of water. I did get some gold. I went gold mining, and I also went mining for uranium too. So that was uh, quite good. I don't think I'm going to have enough space in there, am I? So it's going to throw stuff in, and then we can take out these. I think we can take all of these out. Oh. Well, it's a nice thunderstorm today, isn't it? So let's just get rid of these, these ingots. They should go away. And here if I right-click them on most of them, well, I think the uranium won't. Oh, and the lead ingot didn't go out either. Well, I think we've got some space for lead. I know we haven't got space for any either of these two, have we? Let's just get, let's just convert these into blocks. Let's do the usage on that. So I get eight blocks and seven ingots left. That's a shame. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, where do I put those blocks? I think I put those blocks in one of these chests as it happens. We'll put them in here for the time being. Because in here I've got my armour and stuff that I, maybe I will need. So you see I've got some more packing tape in that one. So we'll take this backpack with us. And in here I've got oh, lots of things we do need actually. So let's take the whole chest. Um, it's not it's not perfect but we'll we'll do, we'll pack up those two chests i think so i think i just need some packing tape which whoa that's a big thunderstorm you probably can't hear as much as me so i shift right click on this one yeah and that one and then we can break those two with an axe but just an ordinary axe this one a bit too strong we should be able to take those with us we've got the basic the, the potions and things like that so now we're going to go off to the nether and we're going to m dig up i got enough inventory space i mean yes i think i have and we're going to dig up the um the place where it will the, the nether portal on the, the other side so what i'll do all right so i'm here i want to pack up this lot and take that down with it but unfortunately i made a slight mistake <laughs> typical i've forgotten to open one of these take something out of one of these packed things so let's see if i can I'd have to right click it yeah maybe i should break it what happened there <laughs> how do i how do i open this thing <laughs> oh ah just right click it no, I've been unlucky, of course. I would have to be unlucky, wouldn't I? Oh, I see. I've just, I've got that in my backpack, and it's trying to do this one. Let's just press F. Right, click it. What's it not opening? No, it's a bit of a pain. Let's pack this one up again and pick this one up. Because what I need is a lily pad. Let's, oh, of course it won't do because of this one. Anyway, we need to pack this one up anyway. So let's pack this one up pick up these two that got me going for a bit now I should be able to open this one up and there's my lily pad and also I'm going to need a load of cobblestone we've got plenty of cobblestone well actually I haven't got that much tall <laughs> not as much cobblestone as I expected in there so let's just pack this one up again I'll break that and we're a bit concerned that what I'm going to do oh I need some slabs have I not got any well, I don't believe it. And I haven't got a crafting table with me. And I've got no wood. Right. <laughs> I'll be back when I've got some wood and some packing tape. See you in a few seconds. Well, I'm back with a crafting station. So <laughs> what I need to do is make some slabs. I'm going to make quite a lot of slabs, in fact. I think a stack of slabs will maybe not enough actually thinking about it we'll probably need to, I would think 90 I'll we'll do 100 slabs that's probably enough 13, 13 cobblestone will do for the time being I think and that should be fine 
So I need this in my hand. We also need to have a quick sleep. Before I do have a quick sleep, let's just pack up these things here. My inventory's looking a bit full, but we should have some space in it to put these chests out of the way. Keep the book with me just in case. I don't need the tool station with me. So let's pack up these. Like that. And let's pick them up. I think these two are actually empty. We'll need this, of course. And the next thing we're going to need to do is to break away this. We've got a bed in here. I'll take that with us, well, of course. We'll need that. In fact, really, what I need is a proper bed because I want to reset my point. So now I need to break up this thing. Hold on a second. So it'll go down one, won't it? Let's just do it down here. Hopefully my magnetic stuff will actually pick up all of this stuff before it lo I lose it, otherwise I've got a problem. One piece. Oh no, I think I've lost some. Right, that's not so good. <laughs> Unless it's deciding to float back up. Well, phew. <laughs> ah, that must give me a little panic for a second, I can tell you. How much have we got? Four. We need ten anyway. So let's do this one here. Have to be close, but not that close. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just use the ordinary pick for doing this. This pick's a bit slow, and it's night time, and I've probably got to have a quick sleep. So I'll have a quick sleep. Come back in a few seconds. Right, I'm back again. So Sam, I just actually filled in that a bit. There was some cobblestone while I was thinking about it, just so I can break away these here. fact that is a mistake I should have moved one across but that will be no problem we can do that next time so that'll do these three here so we'll knock this one off and we're doing 70% so we've got 11 pieces which is fine so now I can break this quite safely to knowing that I've got enough stuff to actually um, got to be safe we can actually build a portal fortunately <laughs> we've got the magnetic armor on which is great so we actually got 18 in fact I didn't use many of those so what I'm going to do now is to break this stuff away here um, Pumpkins, let's take the pumpkins, we won't need those here. Oops. Come back. Those, those magnets are just great. Take a few seconds for it to actually work. But it does seem to do the trick. If it's not disappeared over the edge. Sometimes they disappear. Sometimes they don't. didn't so now I'm going to break this away it's all floating down but it'll probably all come back up again most of it anyway I'm actually holding shift while I'm doing this probably being a bit of a chicken So what I'm going to do now is run, I'm actually above the um, ocean monument, aren't I? So that should be safe. I can break those away. Yes, I'm just above the ocean monument. And we need to get away from the ocean monument by about 50 blocks from where the um, elder uh, guardians are. Because... Let's just uh, take that one out of there, I think. I think I'm just looking at myself, probably not so safe, let's just do it there. And there. So these four will go, once they go we have to change the tool to being this one. Now before I do that, when I say this one I mean the glider, I need to set a marker up. So at the moment we're in position oh, X, I'm not sure which way we're going to go, let's have a look at this thing down here. So that's the front there. 
So let's go 64 blocks behind the, fr the front here. So this position where we're at now is that. So the Z is the one that's moving. So let's add, take off that 64. So that'll be about 90 blocks in the Z direction. Let's just have a marker for that then. So we need it. Let's have it as base. I'm going to put it as base and I'm going to set it down to about 68 where I actually want to be. And oh, so I need to take off this 64 from that. So let's say 90. I think we'll do not 190, just 90. And save that. So we should see a marker over there, base, which is 83 blocks away. Now I should be able to break this. Let's just put this in this hand here, like that. I should be able to break this and then fly over there. So let's do that from this direction. So when I get there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down into the water and put on drop the lily pad. Oh, that's a nice freeze. Look at that one, as you can see. So it's 32 blocks directly below us will go down here. Come up. Now where am I? Yes, that's fine. So now we can put down a lily pad like this. Now you can go underneath the lily pad here and then put underneath this lily pad a block of con uh, block of cobblestone like that. And that picks up the lily pad and we can actually build from that block of cobblestone now. So we want to go up to level 68. One more block. And then we want to put a cap onto this. Now what I'm doing here, if I can get the thing in the right direction, is I'm going to follow a guy called Nathan. Oh, I think that was two blocks, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Let's break that off. Ryan Nathan made a video about this. That's that. It says waiting for server. That's actually a really bad thing. I have to really wait for this thing to actually stop doing it because I said the waiting for server is a lot of lag and it causes all sorts of problems. You, it basically stops you thinking. Uh, tell you what, I'll be back. Oh yes, it's just come back now. Now, the trouble is, once you've done something, it might have removed the thing you've done. So what are we on here? A slab or a? See what I mean? It's behaving most peculiar. <laughs> So let's just take down this one block here. Okay, so that is a, let's put this away here. So we're on 67 now, that's so okay. So we've got one block and then we can put a slab on top of that. Now we're going to go towards the ocean monument, which I can't remember where it is now. <laughs> let's just go and look at the map. But I haven't got, I haven't got the marker turned on either. So let's go back to the waypoints here and turn on the monument here so we see where it is so it's 67 blocks away in that direction exactly the opposite way i'm facing i actually got a lot of markers i'm going to turn them all off for the time being um yes i'll turn them all off so we'll do that we're going through the, the map we'll go to waypoints we'll just turn off the options and then we'll just enable disable waypoints because it does in fact cause a bit of a problem we can't see exactly where we are so I think that's the right direction, <laughs> I hope. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is build a little base out. So I'm at 68, and I think this should be a slab. It is a cobblestone slab, good. And this is a bottom slab, so we're not going to get mobs spawning on this one. So make a little base area. Like this, to actually be able to put down the tools and stuff that we're actually and the chests that I've picked up from uh, the, the portal area and from what I brought from base of course oops missed that one so what I'm going to do now is, is make another portal now this other portal should after I've done that I'll come out I'll finish this doing this bit and I'll come back in a minute when everything's ready so I'll see you in a few seconds right I'm back as you can see, I built the portal. I put some slabs on it. Um, and let's just actually I haven't, I haven't started lit it yet, so, so to speak. Let's put down some chests down here. I should be out of range. Well, I'm hoping I'm going to be out of range. Well, I'm definitely out of range of the Elder Guardians and their mining fatigue, which is what the goal was. I'm having to put these down on, on slabs so that they will actually look sensible. <laughs> and now I need to put down. Let's put down my backpack. I think I have to, can't put my backpack. Let's put it down here. 
Oh, that's nothing really exciting in there, so I'll just get rid of these packing tapes. Um, so the rest of the stuff must be in my backpack here. It is good. Let's take out these. I think that's all we need. There's some potion to regen here, but 45 seconds. So let's put these four chests down. I think I'm going to have to be a bit... Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? That much, to be honest with you. Let's put them down. Oh, yeah. Just holding shift, I should be able to place them down like this. <laughs> place that one in the wrong position, just strange. Never mind. So that's one with potions in it, and this has also got some potions in it. Great. And this is the important one. So we've got some ladders in here, which we're going to need a few ladders. We've got some an oak doors, we've got, um, which we're going to need a lot of oak doors. We've got some water bucket, which we don't need. Now, one of the things that Ryan uh, Nathan Ryan was doing in his videos, he was using sugar canes as a, as a hiding mechanism. So what he does, he put down some sand, and then he put some, two of these and stood in the middle, and they can't be seen. Unfortunately, <laughs> that doesn't apply for me. So I'm going to sort out these chests, they're in a mess at the moment. I've tried it, and I tried it quite hard, and I could not get it to work at all. Anyway, I'm going to sort out this area a bit here, it's a bit of a mess, I don't like it. And I'll come back in a few seconds when it's sorted out. Well, it's a bit tidier, not brilliant, <laughs> to be honest with you. So now, when I like this portal, it should take me back to the same portal as we came from. It's not that far away from the other one, I hope it is. Well, I haven't tried this, I probably should have left the other one just in case. Let's see what happens. Be keeping very quiet. And sure enough, it's brought us back to this place here, which is good because that's not so far away. So we go back again now. So we know that the two are linked correctly together. And as you can see, we come out here. So there is the, um, the well, basically that, that, the ocean monument. You can see the ocean monument. And we're at level 68. Now level 68 is high enough that the guardians cannot attack us. But we will get mining fatigue as we go towards that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go towards that, but I haven't got any sand with me and I should have brought some sand as usual. Now what I need to do, Let's get these out of the way, I don't need these. Is to um just a second, I'll get that thing in the right place. I'm always a bit cautious when I'm doing low um, bottom slabs. Sometimes you fall off bottom slabs. I think you fall off bottom slabs if there's a a top slab beside it and the shift doesn't seem to work then. So I'm not hundred percent sure. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go towards I think that's lining up. And then when we get there, I'm going to build a ring around it. But before we get there, we'll get mining fatigue <laughs> three. So let's go and do this. So what I was telling you about, yes, one of these, the tricks that Ryan and Nathan were talking about were things like using doors. You can put down doors and you get an air pocket. Not only do you get an air pocket, you also get protection from the elder guardians. Uh, guardians. They can't shoot through doors. And oak doors seem to be like the best early game ones because we could use an oak or we could use um, young oops because that made me jump <laughs> right so we've got mining fatigue so we're within range of the, the elder guardians now so i'm just going to keep going back like this i probably could do it slightly quick couldn't i so if i hold down the shift and click the button it should be okay but i've got to just keep it right place make sure I don't hit this, the top of it. If you hit the top of it, you can end up in the water. And that is probably fatal at this stage of the game. Because we haven't got any way to get out of the water yet. Let's go back a bit. Have a look how far we're going. I think we're in line. What I need to do is get some sand. Because I want to do is build a sand ring around this. This was actually not Nathan got, uh, Ryan's, Ryan Nathan's first thing. He did it some differently. So let's go a bit nearer to it and then we can do come back with this one and we need quite a few stacks of sand I've got some sand already prepared we've got to build a wall around it now of sand that's the idea 
and that the three guardians in here, so elder guardians, we've got to get rid of all three of them so we stop getting mining fatigue and then we can actually do other stuff. How far am I? Not so far now. Let's go back and just finish this off and then I'll go back and pick up the sand. A few more blocks I reckon. And then we need to get our stuff prepared to actually attack this. Now I wish I'm not going to be able to do that in this episode because I'm nearly there in terms of time. I think that's possibly it for distance. So let's go back. Now we go back to base and we get some sand. I think this is looking all right. Maybe I should build another pillar down, but uh, it might be a little bit dangerous here. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, look, no space if we put one of those on there. So mobs shouldn't spawn on this because these are bottom slabs. And this area is all protected because it's got lights. So if we press F7 on the moment, we should see no red marks. And that will be covered as well because of the half slabs there. We don't want to be fighting two sets of mobs at one, any one time, do we? So let's go back and get some sand and I'll see you at home. Right, I'm back home and we've got some sand. And what I'm not going to... I'll probably call it a, a day now, or we'll just go and get the sand, or tell yourself. You'll notice that my when you're travelling through the nether, sometimes you use a lot of um, fluid up, and don't ask me why. Uh, so I'm going to have to have a drink or two to actually recover this. And I'm probably going to need a lot more cobblestone as well. But sand is a key item that we need for doing um, the ocean monuments. So can we fill in holes? So I'm going to go and get everything prepared. <laughs> even my mining food so i'll see you next time when i've got everything ready and we're about to do the first of the three um elder guardians until next time i wish you all the best bye for now